Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is July 13th, 2022, Wednesday. The theme of today's devotional is Joyfully Waiting. The scripture is from Psalm 130, verses 1 through 8. Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark any kitties, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in His word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with Him is great power to redeem. It is He who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Amen. Today's story is from Elizabeth, who lives in India. Before my husband left on a recent trip, he promised our five-year-old son, that he would return soon. For the next few days, our son would jump every time he heard the sound of our front gate open. He would run to me and say, Papa came. Each time I would tell him that it was not his dad, but our neighbor who opened the gate. But our son would, wouldn't get disappointed. He knew that maybe the next time it would be his dad. And after five long days of waiting, it was his, his dad who opened the gate. Our son's joy knew no bounds, bounds as he jumped into his papa's arms. How I wish to have such faith in my heavenly father, a faith that joyfully waits, that is confident and determined, determined, and that finds what it seeks. When we experience a season of waiting, we can hold on to God's promises and remain steadfast in our faith. Holding on to hope, we can trust in God's love for us and know that our faith is not in vain. Yes. Are you good at waiting for something? Actually, my kids are not patient for waiting for something. When we drive, kids usually ask, how I mean, are we there yet? And also my kids are asking, I mean, waiting for their birthdays or gifts. Uh, and they are not patient for that because those are exciting uh, things for them. And it is not easy for them to wait for that. Actually, maybe we are same, same to them. So that we are not good uh, at waiting for something. For the big things or small things, uh, the ship, uh, ship, uh, shipping items, kinds of that. In our lives, uh, st when we are in trouble and when we are waiting for the good days and better days, it is not easy for us to be patient and waiting for uh, the good days uh, with faith. In our faith journey, it's not easy to wait for good things. 
The Israelites were waiting for Jesus, the Savior, the Messiah, for a long time. It was not just one or two days or just five days. It was not just one or two years. It was almost 40 years. They are waiting for the day, and finally they come. Actually, meanwhile, it was not. It would be not. It would not be easy for them to waiting for the Messiah. However, they waited. Even generation to generations, they uh, gave that same hope uh, to their uh, their descendants, and it was it was what we are seeing in the Bible through the prophets and God's people. God told them, have to, had told them, the Messiah. I will send the Messiah. The Messiah is, will be with you soon. I don't know how many people were uh, okay for waiting for Jesus at that time. Maybe some of them lost their faith. Maybe some of them still uh, could keep their faith. In our lives, when something happened, and when we are looking for the good things, in, can we be patient? How can we be patient for the coming blessings uh, from God? The only key would be faith, God's assurance and confidence so that we can wait for God's love and grace. And we know that our future is bright because of God's mercy and grace, God's love and grace. Church family, I don't know what are you waiting for now, but I believe that God will give you the best things as God's gift. What we should do is not get disappointed but with hope, wait for God's love and grace. I know it is not easy. I know it is hard. However, we are God's people and we know that God loves us and God, provide, God provides what we need. So with that confidence and love, let us wait for God's blessings in our lives. During the time, also let us praise God and worship God, and we will see the day. As a church, we also have a communal goal. Many people uh, told me, I mean, gave the response uh, to the survey, the second survey, what would you like to see in the Little Ball GMC? And they would like to see the full of people at the sanctuary. And I am looking forward that time also, to seeing that time also, that moment also. It would be not easy to wait. However, let us waiting for God's word and God's blessings and God's people with prayer, confidence, and thanksgiving. Little for church family and friends, I hope you and I have a firm faith that God bless us in God's ways, in God's time always. Let us pray. Dear Father, please help us to wait on you joyfully, knowing that you are a faithful and loving God. Gracious God, we are not patient. We are not patient for waiting for your blessings. But please, let us have you, your spirit, and let us feel you, and let us feel your presence. Let us have joy in you, and let us follow you. We give thanks and praise again. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I hope you have a great day today, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, and thank you. Bye.